Hey guys, thank you for tuning in and welcome to another episode of Build Stuff with AI. Of course, ChatGPT3 has taken the world by storm and everybody was using it. Even when you go to the server, it sometimes it's slow, sometimes it's down and so on. But where ChatGPT3 gets its information from? It actually gets it from GPT3 model. So today we will be playing around with GPT3, which is the source of ChatGPT and we will be giving it information and seeing how to respond to us. So today I have about 10 prompts that I will be playing with and you will be able to see the answers. In order to access uh, GPT-3, you go to platform.openai.com slash playground. That's where you get access and it will open something similar to this and it will open something like this. It's not the same as ChatGPT, it looks more primitive, but it still will give you the idea. So we'll start with the first prompt I have here with me. So we'll put it here like this. I want you to act as an English translator, spelling corrector and improver. I will speak to you in any language and you will detect the language, translate it and answer in the corrected improved version of my text in English. I want you to replace my simplified a zero level words and sentences with more beautiful and elegant upper level English words and sentences. Keep meaning the same, but makes them more library. I want you, I want to only reply to the correction and improvements and nothing else. And do not write explanations. My sen my first sentence is this. This is like Turkish sentence, which I, I really don't understand, but like we can try it out so you click here submit i love istanbul very much it's wonderful to be here okay well that's it so he replied to you <laughs> he used the translator he became a translator and he replied to you so that that was very simple example so let's try to use it as an interviewer let's see what we can come up with here so i want you to act as an interviewer i will be the candidate and you will ask me the interview questions for the position. I want you to only reply as an interviewer. Do not write any conversation at once. I want you to only do interview with me. Ask me the questions and wait for my answer. Do not write explanation. Ask me the questions one by one like interviewer does and wait for my answer my first question is hi so basically here let's play around with the position i'll put here as front end developer position and my first sentence is hi so click submit interviewer hi thank you for coming in today to the interview for the front end developer position okay can you please tell me a bit about yourself and your experience related to this position all right so let's see I have five years experience in front and develop and I consider myself as a hard worker and self-disciplined. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Okay, so he continued here my answer for me. So when I told him that I have five years experience in front end development and I consider myself as a hard working and self-disciplined, he con continued the sentence disciplined person. I have worked on multiple projects related to front-end development, which involve creating interactive web pages, databases, driven websites, and mobile applications. I'm familiar with many of the common front-end development technologies, such as HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and jQuery. I also have experience with server-side scripting language, such as PHP and ASP.NET. Well, so far, so good. Okay, that's great. What's your next question let's see can you just tell me a bit about some of the projects you have worked on okay i work it on a listing whips and health before so you see like he continued for me already my experience like he said that i told him i worked on a listing website and health app before and then he continued except uh, this uh, for listing website i was responsible for creating the front end user interface and interacting with it with the backend, backend database. I also implemented features such as search filters, pagination, and dynamic content loading. All right, that's very, very interesting. For the health app, 
I was responsible for creating the front-end user interface and integrating it to the back-end server. I also implemented features such as user authentication, data storage, logging, and analytics. So you see, you will be able to use GPT-3 in a very, very different way than you use chat GPT. So this is very interesting. Let's, let's try to use it, for example, to become as a travel guide. I have here a prompt that I would like to play with. So I want you to act as a travel guide. I will write you my location and you will choose just a place to visit near my location. In some cases, I will give you the types of places I will visit. You will also suggest me places of similar type that are close to my first location. My first suggestion request is I am in Istanbul, this location, and I want to visit only museums. All right, let's see what he got. If you're looking to visit museums in Istanbul, I would recommend you Istanbul Modern Pyramid Museum and Istanbul Archaeology Museum. There are all great options to explore the city rich culture heritage. Additionally, if you're looking to explore more of Istanbul history, you could visit Galata Tower and Topkapi Palace. If you're looking to visit more unusual museums, you could visit Rahmi Museum, this museum dedicated to history, technology, and transportation. Okay, that, that's really good. So the kind of answers that we'll be getting from uh, GPT-3 are really different from ChatGPT. So let's uh, play with him, for example, as an advertiser. Let's ask him as an advertiser. And this is really useful for the people who are working in, in the media and creatives and so on. So I want you to act as an advertiser. You will create a campaign to promote a product or service of your choice. You will choose a target audience, develop key messages and slogans, select media channels for promotion, and decide on any additional activities needed to reach your goal. My first suggestion and request is I need help creating an advertising campaign for new type of energy drink targeting young adults 18 to 30. All right, let's see what he can come up with if we give him this. Okay, uh, you see, he's like he's writing a full marketing plan, like objective, target audience, key message and slogan and so on. So what's the objective? The goal of this campaign is to create awareness of new energy drink among adults aged 18 to 30 and drive purchase intent by positioning the product as an ideal alternative to traditional energy drinks. Well, all right, makes sense. Audience, target audience campaigns, adults, 1830 demographic is highly composed of college students, young professionals, and early career job seekers. Okay. So let's see here what are the slogans he got. Feel the natural energy, the energy alternative, a better energy experience, the natural energy choice, media channels. The campaign should be promoted through a variety of media channels, including social media, online ads, influencer marketing, social media channels, such as Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and so on. So still, he, the results are really, really good. And he, he's he's able to, to bring you a lot of good ideas. So let's use it, for example, as a math teacher. So I think this will be useful to many people that you will be able to communicate with, 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 with the tool as a math teacher. And the thing that will help you get a specific and accurate results, more accurate results. So here the prompt will be, I want you to act as a math teacher. I'll provide you some mathematical equations or concepts, and it will be your job to explain them in easy to understand terms. This could include providing step-by-step -step instructions for solving the problem, demonstrating various techniques with visual or suggesting online resources for further study. So my first request is I need help understanding probability works. Okay, let's see what he understand about that. Probability is a way of measuring how likely it is that something will happen. This is usually expressed as a fraction or a percentage. To understand how it works, let's take a look at the simple example. Let's say you have a bag of 10 marbles, 5 blue and 5 red. The probability you randomly selecting a blue marble from the bag is 5 out of 10 or 50%. That means that if you pick a marble from the bag, there's a 50% chance it will be blue. Well, that's true. Probable, probability can also be used to calculate the likelihood of multiple outcomes. For example, if you roll a die, the probability of rolling 6 is 1 out of 6, or 16.7%. That means that if you roll a die, there is a 16.7% chance that you will get a 6. Okay? Now that you understand the basic of probability, I suggest that you explore 
explore some of the more advanced concepts. There are plenty of online resources and tutorials that can help you understand probability in more depth. Good luck. All right. Well, thank you. Good luck to you too. I think so far so good. And on the right side here, you will be able to play around with the settings and uh, change the model. So if you see here, we're using the kind of the Da Vinci or uh, like those three model, you'll be able to use the previous models as well and compare the answers to it. Da Vinci is, is kind of quite, uh, you know, sophisticated. It's kind of the latest model. I, I like enjoying it. And also there are so many tools that uh, connect with the API of Da Vinci and they're built on it. So uh, let's take one more uh, interesting example here, which is smart domain name generator. So let's say you're starting a business and you want him to come up with names for your domain. So I want you to act as a smart domain name generator. I will tell you what my company or idea does and you will reply me with a list of domain names alternative according to my prompt. You will only reply the domain list and nothing else. Domains should be seven to eight letters, short, B but unique can be catchy, non-extend words, do not write explanations, write OK to confirm. So I think he will write us OK now. And we will write him, my company is a marketing agency. Please write me five short domain names. Um, OK, MK Tech. MK tricky. Okay, you see, this is not really good, but let's try something. Um, let's try something else. Let's take the same prompt here and about my marketing company. Marketing company. So I'm telling him now. I will tell you what my come. What is my? I'll tell you the name. The name of my marketing company. For example, here, stunning. Okay. And you will list me a domain name alternatives according to my prompt. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, stunning, stunning, stunning. Okay, you see, like this is not really good. I don't think that he he came to the level where he could write a proper domain names. I don't think that's that that's still here. Okay, so let's try to use him as a dietitian. So maybe he will write us a dieting plan which we could use. As a dietitian, I would like to design a vegetarian recipe for two people that have approximately 500 calories per serving and has a low glycemic index. Can you please provide a suggestion? Let's see. Vegetarian, satire free and two fun vegetables, ingredients, two tablespoon. Okay. He's still giving me information. Okay. Two tablespoon olive oil, half onion diced, two gloves garlic mince, so on and so forth. So basically, he he wrote for you the, the 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 vegetarian recipe for two people, and that's really really cool. So you can play around with uh, GPT three, which is the source of uh, Chat GPT, and uh, GPT three actually you will notice that uh, it stays up more <laughs> longer, so you'll be able to access it most of the time. Not like uh, GPT three when it's like down a lot of time because of so many people visiting it and so on. So play around with it, check it out at platform.openai. I'm gonna paste the link uh, here so you guys could see it. So platform.openai.com slash playground. Check it out, play out, play around with it and let me know in the comments what you think. Yeah, thank you so much and see you again in a new video.